I am very, very happy to have stumbled across these banded mongoose. And there's one stand, the back standing on its back legs trying to get a good vantage point. But don't be mistaken, this is not a meerkat. We do not get them here. But this is the Mara equivalents. And it's actually quite a good place to see banded mongoose, from what I'm told, which I'm sure a lot of you will be happy with. Because down in the sands, it's mainly the dwarf mongoose that we see. Although there are banded mongoose there, I don't think they thrive as well as they do up here. And I mean, I guess we saw about 10 or 15 at least. A lot of them have already scurried off into the undergrowth looking for snacks and quite interesting predators they'll feed on a large amount of different things one was burrowing earlier possibly trying to dig out a beetle or a grub they've got an incredible sense of smell so they often smell things underground and dig them out snakes small birds are also on their list so they've got quite a broad diet the banded mongoose let me see if I can't creep forward a bit and see what the rest of them are up to. I'm told you've been enjoying a fine specimen of an impala ram. And they are serious beasts up here in East Africa compared to the southern subspecies. Uh, no luck, it seems like the mongooses have scurried off